Hi everyone, my name is Youssef Al Husni. Uh, so I work at EY in the blockchain team, and I'm also a first year PhD student uh, in Gray's team at Ecole Polytechnique and Henri. So today's presentation is going to be about a joint work with uh, Aurore Guillevic, who works at uh, Henri Anansi. So it is a joint paper uh, titled uh, Optimized and Secure Pairing Friendly Elliptic Curves Suitable for One Layer Proof Composition. Uh, so just to give some some context, we'll be talking about zero knowledge proofs and more precisely ZK snacks and uh, proof composition of those ZK snacks, both from a theoretical point of view and implementation point of view. And then we will be mentioning um, uh, some application that might be interested of this work. So a zero knowledge proof is a proof that is sound, complete, and zero knowledge, meaning that sound meaning that state, if the statement is false, then no cheat and prover can convince. An honest verifier, um, complete meaning that if the statement is true, then an honest verifier will be convinced. And zero knowledge meaning that it leaks no uh, private information. Uh, so as a subset of those zero knowledge proofs, we will be talking about, about ZK SMACs. So uh, those argument, which is a relaxed notion of, 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 of proofs, meaning that the soundness is only computational, complete and zero knowledge, but additionally succinct, meaning that the proof is very short and easy to verify informally. Non-interactive, meaning that uh, there is no necessary interaction between the proof and verifier. And of knowledge, meaning that the, proof, the verifier will be confessed that the prover knows uh, uh, processor information. So uh, zero knowledge for ZK snacks as a subset, then pre-processing ZK snacks of NP language as a subset, just to establish some notations. So we have an NP program, an undeterministic polynomial program, which is public, uh, with uh, public inputs X and private inputs W. And this public program verifies the, that F evaluated at X and W is equal to Z. So a ZK snack, uh, formally consists of three algorithms. So a uh, pre-processing ZK snacks of NP language, set, set up, prove and verify. So set up takes the public uh, NP program, some security parameter lambda and some, so trap door, so door and output some material key. So proving key as in PK and verification key as in VK. The proof, uh, the proof algorithm takes the public input and the private input, so XZ, PK and W and output some, some proof that we denote pi. And the verification algorithm takes all the public inputs and the proof pi and outputs a Boolean zero and Y whether the, the, the NP program is satisfied or not. So the trusted setup can be generated by anyone as long as it, as it is a trustworthy party. Uh, the verification, the, the prover by Alice the prover and the, the verification by the verifier. So, uh, so we said that the key property in those ZK snacks is the S, which stands for succinctness. So informally and honestly generated proof is very short and easy to verify. So there are many definitions of this succinctness, but here we take the one from BCTV, as in the paper of uh, Ben Sasson, Chizat, Homer, and Vasas, and Virsa. Uh, so the proof is constant size with respect to some security parameter, and the verification is also constant with respect to the size of the input. Um, so we've been talking about zero knowledge proofs, zero ZK snacks, uh, pre-processing ZK snacks for MP language. So here is the, 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 the last subset we will be focusing our presentation on is pairing-based pre-processing ZK snacks for NP language, or in short, pairing-based ZK snacks as I referred to in the literature. So those ZK snacks use some, some, some maps, some functions called pairings defined over elliptic curves. So this slide is just to establish some kind of notation that, we, that will be useful in the sequel. So we need some elliptic curve E. So this is the short wave transform of an elliptic curve defined over a field of a characteristic Q. So of course, uh, the characteristic is different from two and three. Uh, so the order of the elliptic curve is equal to Q. So the character plus one minus T with T an integer called Frobenius trace. So it has a prime divisor, so a subgroup uh, of order R. Uh, so we will be talking about elliptic curves of complex multiplication. So those that satisfy this equation for Q is equal to T squared plus D y square, same q, same t, d is the complex multiplication discriminant, or minus d as, as in conventions, and y is some integer that, that satisfies this equation. 
so uh, small d is the degree of the twist, small k, k is the embedding degree, meaning that the subgroup of the R divides q to k minus one. So this slide is just for, for, for some notations. We will be uh, recalling them later. So we have two groups, G1 and G2, and we have a pairing that goes from G1 to G2, two groups of order R, uh, to some target group, which is R throat of unity in uh, the kth extension of QK. So, um, yeah, so here we will just give a, a, an explicit uh, protocol of those uh, pairing based DK snacks. So growth 16 due to growth, to Yen's growth. So we have an instance, so the public input A sub, uh, sub I, uh, that satisfies our, an NP program F. So we, we have our algorithm set up, program verify. Uh, so here we give explicitly the verification key as we will be focusing on the verification size. So it is a bunch of elements in those group, G1, G2, and G2. And uh, the proof is three elements in an elliptic curve, A, B, and C. So we see that it is constant size with respect to some security parameter lambda. And the verification is equation one, which is this equation, which is a pairing product equation. So we see that it is constant size with respect to the instance because we have just VK sub X that we have to compute, which is related to A sub I, which is the instance. So it is constant. So the proof is constant size. The verification is constant time with respect to, to, to the security parameter and to the public input. So uh, from now on, we will be focusing on GOS 16 as an application of, of this. Uh, so just to motivate, motivate this talk, so a blockchain is a decentralized, transparent, immutable paying ledger. So, but those transparent, immutable paying, uh, so, so uh, it results in some problems. So transparent, so it results in some confidentiality problems. Uh, scale, immutability, which means that everything uh, written, once written, cannot be removed in some scalability problems. And paying fees result in some costs inefficiencies. So ZK snacks are one solution to solve these three problems because the proof is zero knowledge. So we have uh, no, we have confidentiality. So the proof as in GOS 16, for instance, is constant size. So we solve also somewhat the scalability problem. And the verification is also constant with, with respect to, 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 to the instance, which solves somewhat also the cost problem. So just on Ethereum, the for, for example, for Lambda, which is 110 bit because they are still using the BN254 curve, uh, our, our proof is somewhat 254 bytes. Um, so a question is how much does it cost in space and fees to verify 1000 posts for instance? So the answer is like 1000 more uh, in, in, in space and fees. So another question is can we aggregate those 1000 posts into a single constant size pool? Or can we verify those proofs at the cost of one proof? Or can we maybe do both? The answer is, since we are talking about uh, ZK snacks or NP language, then the equation one, which is this one in this slide, so is also a, an NP program. So one can generate a proof, a new proof that verifies the correctness of the previous proof or say many other proofs. So maybe we, we will have two scenarios. One is, when we have pro, the number of posts is not fixed, so we need to aggregate on the fly, or maybe the proof, the number of posts is fixed, and then maybe we can just aggregate once. Uh, so let's see the, the, the arithmetic uh, uh, side of things. So how easy and difficult it is to express this equation one as an instance of an NP program? So, so remember that equation one is a pairing product check, so it takes place in a case. Uh, so, so in a in the field FQ2K, so a kth extension of field FQ, and the, to generate the proof, so we work in the subgroup of the, of order R of the elliptic curve. So, so Q is the size of the field, R is the subgroup uh, of the curve. So, here we have obviously an arithmetic mismatch. Uh, so, one first attempt to solve this is to choose a curve for which Q is equal to R. So, this is unfortunately impossible for pairing friendly elliptic curves. Uh, the second attempt will be to simulate FQ operations via FR operations. So this is possible, but we, we, we would introduce uh, a blow up, an overhead of size log Q with Q a cryptographic, uh, a big cryptographic number. So the third attempt, which was introduced in BCTV paper, is to use a cycle of elliptical, which means not only one elliptical, but maybe two or many. So the idea is we can solve this mismatch arithmetic by requiring the second 
ZKP system to use another elliptic curve that satisfies some, some condition in order to solve this arithmetic mismatch. This notion was also relaxed later in the ZEXI paper by uh, Bo, Chisa, Paratius, and others. So just to establish some formal definitions, an M chain and an M cycle. So we have M elliptic curves for which the subgroup order of one is equal to the field size of the other one. And if we require the last one to satisfy the same condition with the first one, then it is a cycle. So M chain, M cycles, or two chains, two cycles, if we have only two elliptic curves. So here, uh, there have been propositions in the literature. The first one was in the BCTD paper, so namely the curves MNT4 and MNT6. Then there was another proposition that is used today in CODA, MNT4 753, MNT6 753. And then in ZEXI paper, there was two, uh, two, uh, two chain uh, construction, namely the inner curve BLS 2377 and the outer curve CP7, CP6782. So in this talk is about a new outer curve that replaced CP6782 while enjoying very efficient implementation. So just to look at why we have all those constructions. So the MNT4, MNT6 is the only construction we know of for the time being that forms a cycle of pairing friendly elliptic curves. And unfortunately, uh, so um, it is not efficient at 128 security, uh, bit security. So um, one solution is to find another construction and the other solution is just to increase parameter. So this was done in, in, in CODA and they increased parameters, but this results in heavy curves. So uh, for the chains, so there were, so the inner curve BLS 12377 is somewhat the state of the art with respect to pairing friendly cryptography because um, uh, uh, it enjoys all the, the, the efficient properties at 128 bit security. So the outer curve, however, CP6 782, uh, has some uh, inefficiencies at 120 at 128 bit security that we try to solve in this new curve. Uh, so just to look at the big picture, so if we are doing pairing based snarks, we need one single elliptic curve. So this elliptic curve should satisfy two properties. So it has to be pairing friendly so that we have this efficient uh, map that we will use for verification. And also the subgroup order minus one should be highly to adequate, which means divisible by a high power of two. So this second uh, property is for efficient FFTs. So it is not a must, but it is very, very important to have. So we can then choose from a wide range of, of uh, pairing friendly constructions, such as Barreto Naing, uh, Barreto Lin Scott, uh, Brazil Wang, KSS, and others. Uh, so there have been propositions uh, from BN and BLS, for instance. Uh, if, we are, if we want to do recursive snacks, then remember we have those two scenarios, two cycles and two chains. So if we want to, two cycles, then we need two elliptic curves, that we have to construct at the same time because both have to be pairing friendly and the subgroup order of one should be equal to the field size of the other and vice versa. So we need to construct them at the same time and for FFT, uh, efficient FFTs for, 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 for proving, we need all the parameters. So uh, R sub one, R sub two, Q sub one, Q sub two to be highly to adequate. So the only construction that we know of is MNT4, MNT6. There have been some, some uh, negative results established in a CCW paper by Chisa and his co-authors. Um, so if we want to do a two chain, then the key property here is that we are allowed to construct these two elliptic curves in a sequential fashion, meaning that we start by the first curve, namely E sub one, and then we construct on top of it the second curve. This gives us all the flexibility. We want to construct this inner curve. That's why it resulted in BLS 12377, which is very efficient. The outer curve, however, is uh, sh so should be constructed in a way such as its subgroup order is precisely equal to the field size of this E sub one of the inner curve. So the only uh, construction that we know of that from the literature is Coxpinch. So this one was used in ZEXI to, that resulted in CP6782 curves. So uh, uh, just to, to, to recall those um, uh, properties we need to check. So uh, these slides are, are, are by the way from um, another presentation that was in a longer format. So maybe we will be skipping a little bit the, the, de uh, the math details to, to go to the results. But uh, so in, in Cox Pinch algorithm, so, so uh, for this uh, outer curve, we need uh, the Q to be prime power, the, the Fobini straight to be relatively prime to Q so that we have only ordinary elliptic curves. 
Um, the subgroup of the prime are divide q to plus one my, uh, minus t, and the embedded degree is k, and the equation, multi the, the complex multiplication equation is satisfied for maybe for small d uh, in order to use that schema algorithm to find the coefficient. So this has to be replaced by just one condition, which is uh, r is fixed and chosen to be prime that divides q plus one minus t and q to k minus one. So the uh, coxpinch is, 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 is very easy to understand, by the way, we need just to find k root of unity. So q is, is congruent to t minus one modulo r. So we just require k to divide r minus one and minus d to be square in, 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 Z, uh, in, Z, uh, in fr. So that t minus one is a, a, a root of unity and, and then we can, uh, we, can, we can satisfy the complex multiplication equation by construction. So there are two problems with this, with Cox pinch is, uh, so the ratio is, is at least two. So which means that the second elliptic curve, the outer elliptic curve will be twice as big as the, uh, as the first one. And uh, the, the parameters of these curves are not expressed in polynomial parameters, which, uh, which we like to, in order to have efficient in pairing based cryptography implementation. So what we did is we replaced this Cox pinch algorithm by brazing wang method, which is mutatis mutandis taking Cox pinch into the polynomial domain. So this solves the first problem, but in our case, we, we wanted not to find a polynomial R, but uh, to find R exactly. So we had to do some, some shifting in order to, uh, to find uh, the polynomial evaluated in the same seed as BLS 12377 equal to, to the subgroup order we, we targeted. But then uh, is Q uh, the, the, the is Q evaluated in this seed is also a prime. Otherwise, we cannot construct the elliptic curve. So, um, as I said, I will be just skipping because of uh, of the time. But we can take this to the chat. Uh, we so our work resulted in a elliptic curve. So that we called BW six seven sixty one which has this equation uh, y square x q minus one, which is defined over field seven sixty one bits. Uh, the seed is this one, and we have polynomial parameters of, of uh, all the parameters. Uh, so the results, if we want to compare this work with Zexi uh, CP6 is, so the curve is defined over a smaller field by one machine work 64 bits. So the curve has embedding degree six and twist degree six. So uh, what, this mean, what does this mean? It means that the, the element in G2, can be factored, can be compressed to, to one sixth. So uh, G2 as in the, the, the proof element uh, and the, the trusted setup element. So the curves has parameter uh, polynomial expressions allowing fast implementations. Uh, we find also a very efficient optimal eight pairing. Uh, and also in the paper, we describe other optimizations such as GLV multiplication on both G1 and also G2 because we, we fixed the complex multiplication discriminant to be equal to three. Uh, we have very fast uh, subgroup checks rather than just, just multiplying by, by the subgroup order. Uh, so those are based on endomorphisms. Um, and the curve has also secure hash to curve and fast hash to curve for both G1 and G2. So the, the, the details are, are explained in the paper. So uh, here are for, so I, I think I just have uh, maybe a few minutes more. Um, I will just focus on the, the verification equation. So the verification equation, so the building block is the pairing computation. So in violet is what, so, so the, the pairing that we have in Zexi for CP6 and in blue, the pairing the, that we have for uh, our curve. So it is an eight pairing. Uh, so eight pairing, so there are two uh, parts. So the first one is what we call the Miller loop and the other, the last one is what we call a, a final exponentiation. So uh, the, the Miller loop has a size. So in, in, in CP6, the size is 388. In our case, we have two Miller loops, but both in, 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 in smaller size. So 64 and 182, I guess. Uh, and um, the multi exponentiation so this is a, a classical trick to do the, the final exponentiation. Uh, easy part, hard part. The easy part is the same, but the hard part, since we have polynomial constructions, then we could uh, find a very efficient algorithm to do this. 
very quickly. So from a theoretical point of view, if we compare CP6 to BW6, so the, uh, the total number of operations is uh, almost five times less and in a, in a field that is smaller by one machine work. Uh, so we implemented this first in C++, but then we implemented it in us to have a more like uh, apples to apples comparison. Uh, so, uh, so there is a pull request that has been merged by Pratius on Zexi Master. Uh, so uh, we see that uh, it was 15 times faster to compute a pairing and 29 times faster to verify a gauss sex import because in gauss sex in, in this pairing product equation, we can factor the, the, the final exponentiation. So we, we, we see a huge gap between the theory and practice, but uh, it just because in, in, in the Zexi implementation, they use a fine coordinate for pairings, which is by the way, uh, advised to in the case, in the very, in very specific case of CP6. Uh, but this has to come with uh, fast implementation uh, of uh, the inverse in the cubic uh, tower field. But um, that wasn't implemented at this point. So, um, some application that might be interested of this work. So of course, Zexi, so kudos to, 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 to the folks behind Zexi. So we can replace uh, the, the CP6 curve by BW6 curve. So this has already been done in, in the Zexi repo, pull request merge. So Celo is uh, uh, using uh, Zexi system to, to batch BLS signature. So we can also uh, substitute the curves, Filecoin, uh, so they have, so they, so Ariel mentioned some, some times ago that uh, they were uh, considering circuit splitting. And uh, last, EY Midnight Z, uh, ZBM, so that was introduced uh, earlier by, uh, by Michael. So we can use this curve also to have private smart contracts on Ethereum. Uh, so, and I think that's it for me.